Welcome back to Watching Watchmen, uh, our panel of Watchmen experts, uh, David. Yeah, David. Derek. <laughs> Logan, yeah. <exactly. laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, everybody watched the episode, right? Absolutely. Yes. yes. <laughs> what did you guys think? Uh, Moving right along. <laughs> no, no, I mean, th this is really the, the episode where we progress forward in the entire story. True. True. It did seem to drag a little bit here and there. Yeah, but so, yeah. at least on this panel, we talked about where is Osmantius. Yeah. yeah. Right? And what did we all say? Yeah, he's on one of the moons of Jupiter. Yeah. Bam! You wrote a <clears throat> There he is. You wrote a book! That's my third guess. That's a... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So, so actually, I think that's a huge, huge plus and and a big, big play into. Oh, we we know about the you know the storyline. We know about where it's going, but we don't know what this version of that's going. Right. Yeah. 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 So we get a lot more insight as to what's going on. They hit on Osmantius. They hit on the fact that it's his fault that we have giant mind bending squids. Squid, right? yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that the mind bending squids now we've all encompassed the fact that it is a giant hoax. Yep. And yeah. that like, you know, we had a uh, mirror glass or uh, looking glass, looking glass yeah. like his whole the whole whole episode really in a lot of ways revolved around his character mm -hmm. and uh how he was reacting to what happened, the initial I, I attack. I think it, it, it put a light on how a lot of people reacted to that. It's true. You know, I don't think his reaction was a lot different than a lot of people's. I think it was just maybe an extreme yeah, reaction it, to that. Yeah, I mean, it was just like how that would affect people. And it would be different. It also kind of touched the difference. Like when he was talking to the people that were doing the commercial, he was like, that's not going to work. And they're like, why? People have got past this because they weren't there. Yeah, he 30 had, years, he, it took 30 years. Yeah, and, he was he yeah. was there, yeah. and he was still messed up over it. He was like, yeah. no. Some people, this really... The PTSD is just, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, at a really high level for the people that actually experienced it. Yeah. And lived through it. Like, yeah. It's, uh, that was just... It would be like the difference in us being in Oklahoma and talking about 9-11 and the people who live in New York talking about 9-11. Yeah. Totally mm -hmm. different. Yeah, totally different thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, okay. It was like, you know. You don't really know it until you lived it. Yeah, but we yeah. were there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, I really thought it was interesting getting back to Ozymandias too. I don't know if you guys got this, but whenever he gets pulled back through and the warden is like uh, kicking yeah. his ass, right? And he's wearing him out. And uh, he's talking to them about their god left them, I think it now is pretty uh, obvious that, that Manhattan, Manhattan yeah. has created all of yeah. that. Of yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, so it's Dr. Manhattan has created that world, so when he said, I'm going to go and create life, he literally created to be, like, lives, but they're, like, just two, yeah. a man and a woman. They're clones. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, he created an Adam and an Eve, basically. On a frozen ice moon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like he really just kind of stuck him away somewhere where he would never, ever I mean, he, he bother anybody some, again. Crazy right? stuff, and no one, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he burned his whole world down, and it's not the world, it's yeah. that world. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Jupiter has like another, another 50 moons, it'd be okay. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> going one more up, right? Yeah, yeah, so obviously he's been in touch with uh, Dr. Manhattan over the years. Dr. Mm -hmm. Manhattan probably, after everything that happened, was like, you know what? You need to be put someplace, yeah. and so and locked he, away to where you can never do this again. Yeah, and so he kind of put him <laughs> out of zone. out of sight, yeah. out of yeah. mind. You know. So, so an interesting part though is like we're talking about. He's not even on the planet. No. As far as anyone's concerned, he's dead, gone, poof. No, that's it, knows. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we know from the episode, people are a, you know, rumors of. Well, I heard he's here. I heard he's in. You know, Argentina. Yeah. I heard that. It's kind of like Elvis sightings. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, so so yeah. there's still sightings, there's still some interest, there's still, you know, a little bit of that, uh, you know, underlying, you know, tones that, I'm not going to say influence, but... I think there's a lot of hero worship with him. Yeah. Nobody yeah. really knows how bad of a guy or how much of a megalomaniac he really was, I don't think. And they tend to kind of look up to him. Yeah. And that's odd to me. But what's, uh, what was the most interesting part is when he got off of that little paradise that he's been living in there and he's been spelling out something with all these all dead the bodies that he's been this hurling. whole time that it says save me and it just has a d at the end everything else cut off you don't know what the hell's happening so my first instinct was save me dr manhattan or save me doctor so you don't really know what the hell was out or after save me you just see the d and it's kind of left up to your imagination who he's asking to save him yeah so that that was really interesting to me um 
I also found it interesting how, like you were saying, the story moving right along, we're progressing, and we kind of start to find out a little bit more about the police station and what's been going on. Mm -hmm. When the senator, I mean, he, he's sitting there all masked up as the, you know, one of the, yeah, uh, the seventh cavalry. Out that he's part of the seventh and, cavalry. And he, I, lo I love how Looking Glass, he's just like, are you even going to try, try and hide your voice, mm -hmm. Senator? And he's like, oh, I still have my oh, mask my bad. on. I still have my mask on, you know? And, and he's like, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> Looking Glass is a snitch. Oh, he's yeah. a snitch. First of all, he and his partner, yeah, he, maybe they're not like partners, but they worked together for a number of years, yes. right? He don't want to be like, <laughs> well, he just let like, fall fairness. into the own trap, let that ride out to save his own skin. Uh, Character flaw. In fairness, they uh, they were gonna kill her entire family while they slept if he didn't go through with this. That's what they're telling him still. They may still do it anyway. I think, but, I, I think that his his there. I mean, we could tell him a snitch, and I, I mean, you know, I know how I would have handled that situation. But he did pretty much say, "Hey, we'll kill her and her whole family if you don't." So in his eyes, she he knows that she probably didn't kill Judd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she she's probably going to get put away for a little bit, be out of sight, out of mind. In his mind, he's probably protecting her. But as he we wears saw, a tin foil hat. yeah, but at the end of the episode, I mean, my whole thing is, I think he was right from the very beginning when he was like, "You guys are going to kill me." He should have known they're not just going. to Oh yeah, they were after him there at the end of the episode. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he lives through another one. No, so. I, which is kind of sad. I actually like that character. Yeah. But we're going to start seeing people fall. I think this is where we're going to start heading. And, I mean, because, we're more than halfway through the series. Yeah, 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 yeah because we're halfway. People, we got four left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they've already kind of they gave away a lot in this episode when he talked to he let him know about the secret with Doctor Ozymandias, mm -hmm. so the squid wasn't real. You know, he also let him know that he's in charge and that you know their police chief was working with him and he controlled the police and he controlled the Seventh Cavalry to kind of keep things from going and exploding. And so now you know we know that. He seems to be responsible for the White Knight there, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, like, he's orchestrated all of this to further his uh, political aspirations. Political aspirations. Yeah. And, and this whole thing <clears throat> with uh, him letting him know about the squid and all that, that's that's his ace in the hole to get rid of to get rid of Redford mm -hmm. in, in the, his buy for the presidency yeah. because he's going to be like, this man has been deceiving you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I mean, He was under Wright's thumb about, the whole time. Yeah. We haven't heard this whole episode about the whole last episode. They, they they left a lot of people out this episode. Yes, it was very right. it was very character driven by Looking Glass. There, I mean, yeah. you got an awful lot of answers this episode too. That also brought up more questions, obviously. Mm -hmm. But man, I wasn't expecting as many answers as we got this episode. The, the and, whole huge clock thing mm -hmm. that that we know is going to play a big big part probably in the next one two episodes. Yep. They didn't even touch on that. They didn't talk about her. They passed right yeah. over all of that and yeah. we just focused on Looking Glass. And that whole and, and uh, yeah, this episode was really about, in my opinion, it really all kind of wrapped around Ozymandias, like where he actually is and how he got there. Because if you think about it, like his whole plan to drop the squid and how that affected everybody, ideally that is probably what caused him to be locked away by Doctor Manhattan. Mm -hmm. okay. So this whole episode is really about where he actually is now and how he got there and how it affected everybody else. Yeah. And then I think next episode we're going to get more bit back into true and what is that plot with... We can also go into the, something that's it looks probably like, It looks like the, the previews for the next episode look to revolve all around her grandfather, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Lady, Lady True and her grandfather. That, that's, the, that's the whole next episode. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she took those pills of memories... And, uh, and we already have kind of seen a little bit of a preview next see next episode yeah. where uh, I love the black Spectre. and white. Uh, I love the black and white how it's filmed. Like that's another thing. Uh, it's filmed kind of like Schindler's List. It looks like next yeah. next episode and in this episode you see that Spielberg never did Schindler's, Schindler's List. He did the what was it, the white uh, the white pony or something uh, pale, horse. pale horse pale horse pale horse white yeah. pony yeah. pale horse, pale horse. Pale and film <laughs> filmed the exact same way. She's yeah. talking about how it was filmed in black and white and the you and know burst of color. Here jacket, and there, yeah. and how, how many Academy Awards it won, just like Schindler's List did. And but I it was about it, the squid drop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Ended up being yeah. a larger tragedy than, I mean, by numbers, probably a larger tragedy than the Holocaust. So In their world, it was, yeah. it was, obviously it was ba that bad. You mm -hmm. know? Well, it's, it's a reflection of the world as they see it yeah. versus you know, where we're at right now. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, but a lot, a lot of stuff going on in this episode. A uh, good episode. Though. Oh, it was fantastic. That was the best one out of all of them. And then we finally, uh, just to me as a graphic novel fan, finally got to see the squid. I was sitting there waiting, uh, you know, in those 10 minutes there. It's like, you're going to show the squid drop, and we're like, we actually going to get to see the squid. And, yep, there he was in all its glory there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was just a fantastic first 10 or 15 <clears throat> minutes there. And not, not that the whole episode wasn't great, but those first yeah. 10 or 15 minutes just were Awesome. Yeah, all the people are dead, mm-hmm. and like, you, know, you see the, the visual of that. Yeah, the people hanging off the Ferris wheel, and uh, man, it was just fantastic. Yeah, it was a good it's episode. Fantastic. Was so many great <laughs> visuals. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, no it, it really wrapped up and drew in a whole lot of the story that we've seen now, and it really drew it all into a point. Mm. Waiting for next episode. Yep. yep. With four so, left, I think we're going to start hopefully seeing the, I guess the end game, so to speak. The end. Kind of how yeah. It's, going to come it's all going to start forming a little bit more next episode. Well, well it has to because like yeah. we're about to get to the third act of the story. Yeah. 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 Because there is literally this is not ongoing season forever and ever. Yeah. Right? We have to have a beginning and an end. So right now. They promised a definitive ending, so... Yeah, so... And I think it, it, it actually has painted it pretty well, because the way it's gone, if you think about it right now, we've seen now, pretty much, we've seen the hand of the 7th Cavalry. We don't know mm. exactly what their plan is, well, they but we the, know that he's planning on doing something to get a, a power grab. They have the gates open there, where they're, you mm. know, testing everything out, throwing the balls through there, Johnny, he goes, you're trying to do this again, you're trying to bring another squid through, he goes, nah, he goes, that's not creative enough, he goes, yeah. well, we got something different plan yeah and uh, i'm really curious as to what they have planned there an octopus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's different enough but, but, but you gotta maybe. think but you also gotta think that if the grandfather and true were behind uh the death of the police chief which he says he was yeah. and he obviously can walk and very mm-hmm. well may have been then that would mean that they were probably at odds with the seventh cavalry and so we're kind of about to see where all this is going to go i still say that police were involved. Can't trust them. <laughs> uh, so you also... We'll talk about the show? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I, so. I, I just think, because, you know, the Seven Cowboy, the whole thing is we're, we're everywhere. We're everyone and no one, right? So, regardless if it's Lady True or if it's the, you know, as we're thinking the Seven Cavalry, I think that there's, you know, a whole lot of people behind the scenes playing an act, so... And then you yeah. get there, and uh, like it, to kind of switch gears here a little bit, it was the the Ryan Murphy produced thing there, the American Hero story that you see uh, when a uh, oh. looking glass, looking glass, sitting yes. here watching, yeah. and it looks like porn, and all of a sudden you realize it's a typical Ryan Murphy episode of television uh, wait, with look, Hooded Justice, like porn? huh? Look like porn? Oh uh, yeah, that was that was it's Ryan Murphy porn, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, clothed and just really yeah, yeah out, you know. But uh, Hooded Justice has been the one that you see the most in this show within a show here. Yeah. And when uh, they pointed out while well, he was, you know, getting on, he was sitting there going, you're never going to see my face. And there's a lot of theories going around as to how Hooded Justice is going to kind of factor into all this since they've made it kind of a, he's a focal point of this show now. The, yeah. the show within a show. Yeah, they did, and did a lot of lead in for it. I mean, but I, I don't know. We'll I just like the shots hard at Ryan Murphy. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, folks, uh, keep uh, keep watching Watchmen and keep uh, tuning in, and we'll be back next week to discuss the uh, next episode. Yep. So until then, uh, don't forget to ring that bell, like, and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching Fan Talk.